Hello and welcome. My name is Suzanne Campbell. I'm the Chief Executive Officer for the Australian Information Industry Association. This year we're continuing our series of CEO Insights, asking our members to share their views on our industry, on those things that matter to them and to us as well. Today I'm joined by Paul Farrell from NGIS. Paul, tell us about your business. Our, our business is uh, 21 year, years old and we're about uh, bringing mapping technology to enterprises and mapping technology is such a ubiquitous thing within society these days. We use mapping every single day and I suppose our challenge is to make sure that enterprises can, can use mapping in that way and, and it's about uh, working the way they, they live with, with mapping technology. And tell me about your major customers then. Well, our, our customers are, are pretty broad. Uh, being a West Australian firm, and we've got to spread throughout Australia, but, but being based in, in Western Australia, we do a, work with the mining industry. But right now, I suppose our biggest customers are within government, and mapping technology is you know, providing them with ability to streamline the way they provide service, and both internally and externally out to to citizens and, and, and others. Paul, can you share with me a specific example of how government is using mapping to improve their service delivery? Yeah, sure. Um, one example that, that springs to mind is, is, is a local example here with the, the, the West Australian Department of Water. They, uh, they have a mandate to make sure water information is available and that was a process that was quite manual and was taking weeks to process. Um, and through some very, very uh, small and but smart investment in, in digital technology and, and mapping technology, they've been able to cut the processing time down from you know, two weeks to a matter of one or two minutes. And, uh, and what they've noticed is that you know, the, the times have gone down but the service has actually gone up. Um, and those people that were doing those manual tasks are now uh, redeployed doing more high value work within government. So, you know, better service, better, better produ productivity and, you know, better returns to people out there and, you know, in terms of water is such an important thing for development, you know, it, it will mean a you know, quicker investment in things like mining projects and other projects. That's just such a stunning example. It's fantastic. And, and mapping technology is quite unique because you can very, very quickly uh, assess it, uh, make a decision and move on. You, you, traditionally, that done it, doing that in a manual way is uh, that's what takes weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Paul, you're on the on the uh, West Australia Council. Yeah. And you're from, as a consequence, you're quite familiar with the AAA strategic themes. Absolutely. Yeah. And and our keenness to support and drive world leading ICT industry in Australia for prosperity and leadership, digital leadership, and also to to leverage and use NBN and and uh, wireless technology and to hold up exemplar products and services in, into the, to the public domain. Which of these key themes is, is the most important to you, do you think? Which, which of these most matters to Australia today? Uh, look, in my experience, it's about increased productivity and increased productivity becomes from providing better service and providing information available to anyone, anywhere, any, any time. Um, I think the, the cat's out of the bag, and I mentioned before working the way you live. Um, we are now becoming so used to having services just available to us at any one point in time. And from a, you know, a, a business point of view and a, and a government point of view, um, we have to catch up because that's what people expect. So 70% so of people, we did a recent survey, 70% of people within this organisation, their stakeholders want their service delivered digitally. We have 30 million mobile phone accounts in Australia right now, only 20 million people. So more mobile phone accounts than people. And uh, so, so, what, so people are wanting it digitally and they're wanting it uh, in a mobile way. So, so what I'm finding is people want a digital service so, and that will lead to productivity in the, in the Australian economy. Paul, you've been a member of the AAA for some time. Tell me about the value of membership for NGIS. Well, the, the value of AWA, I must admit, has, has grown over the time we've been a member with AAA, because I've seen the AAA uh, mature a lot over that time. But it, it comes from a, a few areas. Um, the AAA is, is, provides me with insight into what's going in the broader ICT industry. That's, that's number one. So it provides me with intelligence and helps me guide where I'm taking my business. Number two, 
as a niche provider in this industry, um, we are not the total solution. So it provides me with connections to other people so we can provide a total solution out to, to, to our clients. And number three, just, just the, the, the networking with, with people and, and being involved with people in, in, in similar situations, that helps me guide and restructure my business. And sometimes it makes me feel glad that I'm doing the right thing and I'm not alone out there as well. <laughs> people uh, are confronted with similar challenges. So uh, yeah, it provides a lot of value to enjoy us. Paul, thank you very much for that. And thank you for your time today. Really appreciate it. My pleasure, Suzanne.